The following operator training video on the Hobart models 4812 and 4822 choppers is a supplement to the instruction manual that came with your chopper. If you have any questions concerning operation, please consult your manual. Your Hobart model 4812 and 4822 choppers are constructed and designed to give long satisfactory service, providing they are properly used and maintained. This training video will cover the assembly, operation, and cleaning of the choppers. The Hobart model 4822 chopper is designed to grind 16 pounds per minute, first cutting through a 1 8 inch plate, while the 4822 FS will grind 20 to 22 pounds per minute, first cutting through a 1 8 inch plate. The 4812 chopper will cut 8 pounds per minute, first cutting. This is essentially the only difference in the choppers. All use a one horsepower Hobart built motor. For the purpose of this video, we will use a Hobart model 4822 chopper. Prior to assembly, a light coating of FactoPure T70 oil supplied should be applied to the surfaces of all parts. The knife and plate need some preliminary lubrication. Rub tallow over the cutting faces of these parts. Check to assure the hub and socket are clean and clear of any obstruction. Insert the cylinder assembly with a slight twisting motion toward the left. The cylinder stop pin in the attachment will contact the side of the hole that receives it. Tighten the thumb screw. Note, when disassembling the chopper, it is only necessary to loosen the thumb screw about three turns. It should never be removed. Slide the worm into the cylinder and rotate the square shank of the worm until it locks into the hub drive. Install the knife with cutting edges out and the plate, making sure the notch aligns with the pin in the bottom of the cylinder. Thread the adjusting ring on hand tight. If the knife and plate are both sharp, only a moderate pressure will be needed. Knives and plates must be sharp and true for proper cutting action. Install the feed pan and the feed stomper. On the FS model, tighten the feed pan screw holding the pan securely to the chopper attachment assembly. Note, the knife and plate depend on meat for lubrication. Therefore, the chopper should never be operated without meat. Never allow your chopper to run without meat in the chopping end. Only a few minutes of such running can ruin a knife and plate. Take out the entire chopper attachment each time after using and place it in the refrigerator until needed again. Remember, the chopper must be thoroughly cleaned and sanitized after assembly and before being placed into service. We will cover cleaning in detail later in the tape. Cut the meat into strips. Turn the machine on and feed the meat into the chopper using the feed stopper only as needed. If the strips are cut to proper size, they will feed without assistance from the feed stopper, allowing both hands of the operator free to feed the meat. When running meat through the chopper a second time, more speed is attained by feeding small quantities at a time than by trying to force large amounts with the feed stopper. The feed pan should always be kept in place in the cylinder. It not only makes regular feeding easy, but keeps the chopper attachment ready for immediate use. The fineness to which meat is cut is governed by the size of the holes in the plate, not by the tension put on the adjusting ring. Remember, do not tighten the adjusting ring more than hand tight. The chopper should be thoroughly cleaned after installation and before being placed into service. For cleaning, a powder detergent such as Spick and Span is recommended. Do not use liquid soap. It will corrode metal surfaces. Warning, disconnect the electrical supply. Using a hot detergent solution, clean rinse water, and a sanitizing solution, clean, rinse, and sanitize the feed pan feed stopper, worm assembly, 
knife, plate, and adjusting ring. Using a long nylon brush, clean the cylinder assembly. Wash, rinse, and sanitize the machine housing using clean cloths. This concludes operator training for the Hobart Model 4812 and Model 4822 choppers. To obtain service and parts information concerning these choppers, contact your local Hobart service office.